Listen to this. No body homicide cases are incredibly difficult to investigate and prosecute. Few of these cases are ever filed with the district attorney because prosecutors must one, prove that the victim was murdered and isn't simply missing, and two, prove that the defendant committed the crime. These types of murders require a special approach to solve and communicate to a jury. This unique approach can also be used to investigate the case for Jesus. So I really enjoy true crime on television. Shows like American Greed, Forensic Files, uh, 48 Hours, interrogation shows. I even have podcasts where I can listen to how these cold case detectives, you know, figure out who, who done it. And I came across Jay Warner Wallace and his book, Person of Interest. And he is an actual cold case homicide detective and now he uh, teaches seminars and how to actually prove the existence of Christ and the resurrection, even if you don't have a body, even if you don't have the Bible. Now, of course, the Bible is one of the best documents we have about Jesus. But what I've come across when I'm talking to people who don't believe is that they want to exclude the Bible. They want to say, they quickly turn their ears, you know, they, they like, no, I don't want to hear that because it's from the Bible. And so in those cases, I have to decide, okay, how am I going to share with them about Jesus and the message that he proclaimed without using the Bible? I would love to use the Bible, but with some people, they don't seem to want to go any further, even though the Bible has been proven and it's a fact, they just choose to ignore that. So, but there's no escaping the life of Jesus and the resurrection. You just can't, you can't get rid of Christianity just because you just, you know, wave your hand and say, ah, it's all nonsense. And so what he does as an actual cold case detective is he sought out to disprove the resurrection. Like I, I remember I did the same thing. So I really related to this book because I had the same type of uh, misguided motivation, but in doing that, he discovered that it was all true. And so he uses this really cool, this imagery of a bomb. And that's my favorite part, like is the, the fact that he uses a fuse and how a bomb has a fuse that leads up to the inevitable explosion. So there's these things that happen before the bomb actually goes off. And this is how they can actually prove that somebody committed a crime in real life even if there's no body because there's something called fallout because you have the fuse then you have the explosion and then you have fallout even if you don't have the bible you still have so much fallout from what happened after jesus walked this earth and after the resurrection there's like the education fallout the uh, imagination fallout and he's talking about like music and movies and all these in literature all these things that talk about jesus so it points to the fact that something happened that this person existed so even if we didn't have an actual physical bible we would have so much fallout through history, through archaeology, through the arts, through education. There's so many areas that Jesus, that we find Jesus in. So you can't get away from him even if you tried. And even more so, you find him in other religions as well. Every religion mentions Christ to some degree, either by name, principle, something. They always point to him. And so if you ever wanted to get a book that's like really insightful from somebody who was an actual detective. If you like true crime, I'm telling you, you're going to really like this. And because I'm a very visual person and, you know, I'm working on a book myself that's very visual. This book right here is one of my top 10, like no doubt, because when I tell you this book has helped me to witness to unbelievers, I'm not playing. Yeah, get this if you dig in it. But this is one that's really helped my faith and helped me to grow as a child of God. So thank you guys for visiting with me. I hope you come back for the next video and, you know, you know, pick up this book, you know, if you're feeling stuff like this. So yeah, I hope you have a blessed day. Grace and peace.